Good morning guys. Today is day 207 of my year-long project of a daily vlog. Let's start the day off with some useless facts. And what did I say yesterday? I said it's going to be baseball. Okay, here we go. Useless facts on baseball. The first five members to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1935 were Walter Johnson, Christy Mathewson, Babe Ruth, Honus Wagner, and Ty Cobb. Baseball evolved in the early 17th century out of a family of English folk games including rounders, stool ball, and cricket. Rounders, stool ball, and cricket. <sighs> you know, if I didn't already know what cricket was, the very first image in my mind would have been a bug. A literally a cricket. Why would they even name the game after that? It has absolutely nothing to do with crickets. And stool ball? Really? Stool ball. So it's a b ball of crap. I don't even know what stool ball is, and it doesn't sound appealing. And rounders. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Still coming to terms with baseball? A swinging strikeout is often called a whiff, and a batter who is struck out by a fastball is often said to have been blown away. Who comes up with these terms? Oh, I hate baseball. Getting to second base is easier than you think. Second is the easiest base to steal because the catcher must throw a farther distance. Okay, but what about the pitcher? Aren't they the ones who... Hmm, forget it. In 2008, Alex Rodriguez's salary peaked at $28 million, making him the highest paid baseball player of the year. His career salary at the time was <sighs> that is so unfair. One hundred ninety-eight million four hundred sixteen thousand two hundred fifty-two. Really? <sighs> I hate sports in general. These assholes get uh, paid so much money just for playing games. The green underside of a baseball cap serves to reduce the light reflection that could distract the baseball players during daytime games. An inspector from Major League Baseball visits every ballpark at least twice a year and checks the specifications of the mound including height of the mound, slope of the mound, size of the pitcher's circle, flatness of the pitcher's rubber, and flatness of the area on which the pitcher's rubber is laid. I don't know, but for some reason that entire fact just seemed like one giant innuendo. And is that it for today? Please that be it. Yep. Alright, that's it for today's useless fact, and for tomorrow, uh, Already did bats, so beef. All right, so it's Saturday, lazy day, and uh, currently heading out to see my girlfriend. Um, we kind of had to cancel this Thursday because she was scheduled for work, and uh, we couldn't do it on Friday because again she was scheduled for work. But you know that wouldn't have uh, really mattered much anyway because I had my interview yesterday, Friday. So, uh, 
Mm -hmm. oh, two days longer. <sighs> well, anyway, um, originally today I had planned on going to take care of some grocery shopping since I haven't done any at all this week. Um, yeah, that didn't happen today. I mean, you guys know how easily I get sidetracked with, like, internet and YouTube and Netflix. By the way, right now I am marathoning Star Trek Next Generation, so that's my latest marathon project on Netflix. Anyway, hmm. Uh... So the interview yesterday went out went pretty well, I think. Um, it was definitely a lot different from what I was. Uh... Oh, I could have put that down. After the interview, uh, we I had this questionnaire to fill out, where I uh, was supposed to say what uh, uh, I guess separated. Uh, their interview from everyone else that I've uh, ever been uh, to an interview with. Uh, I should have said that. I actually, um, actually going out uh, and um, uh, what am I trying to say? Shadowing, that's it. Um, getting to shadow one of their uh, What, what do I call them? Are they like uh, the representatives of the company? Uh, I guess so then. Um, so, anyway, uh, thought it went uh, pretty well. Definitely never done that before. You know, shadow someone as part of the interview. But, yeah, whatever. Get a good chance I'm, uh, to see just what it is that. I am signing up for, you know, and I mean, I still have reservations on this about going door to door and to push a product, but you know, don't do not say I can't do it until I've actually tried it. Hmm. Who knows, I might even like it. Yeah, right. It's, uh, no matter how it's, uh, um, worded, it's still sa a sale of some kind. And, uh, I don't know. I, mean, I, I guess I could do it. I mean, they're going to uh, be giving me training also. And um, from the interview, like the first couple of weeks, I won't be doing it by myself. So I'll have someone more experienced with me. And um, uh, I was told that there are days when uh, they go out on uh, uh, team uh, routes, I suppose. So it's not always going to be uh, me alone going door to door and it's not even door to door either it's like they have a printout of specific people to uh, uh, go to you know these are people who are already um, customers of uh, whatever company um, it is uh, that well I think uh, right now it's AT&T so uh, anyway um these, these people are already customers of AT&T and so um, it's not just going to every uh, house possible, it's going to specific houses and uh, hmm. and I got a pretty good idea of what kind of work hours I'll be doing and like uh, what the compensation is and 
and uh, from what I remember on the uh, no hold on we're not even gonna talk about that 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 blog was the reason why I was so hesitant about the uh, second interview and I got a feeling that the people who wrote that uh, entry and the ones who commented on them I don't know, I think they're just bitter or something. Because it wasn't that bad, you know? I don't think it was that bad anyway. <sighs> Ooh, I love this song. Um, anyway. Uh, so, did that and then had a mini uh, interview immediately afterwards for, um, yeah. And, uh, they said they were going to call me back today if they wanted me back for a third interview or not. And so far, nothing. And then again, they did say they were going to call me uh, between noon and 6 o'clock. I was hoping they would have called uh, before 4. But I guess I'll just have to keep my. Uh, Keeping an uh, ear on the phone here, so I think I could do it. Although, honestly, I'm kind of hoping that someone else uh, calls me first for an interview before they uh, finally give me the job. Because I would be stupid to turn down a job if they were if they offered it to me after the interviews and all that stuff but uh, part of me really doesn't want to do this but uh, the rest of me know that I have uh, responsibilities uh, to uphold and so I have to take the job if they offer it have to Ugh, roadkill is that a fox or a coyote? Anyway, if they offer the job, I have to take it. There's no, I cannot say no. I have to. And while that will not really make me all too happy, the pay is definitely a whole lot better than uh, where I am working right now. Although the hours are kind of longer. But I guess this is what I uh, signed up for, right? I want full time. Not part time. Not anymore. Whatever it takes to please my parents. Well, anyway, that was kind of depressing, huh? Uh, while uh, like half the country now is uh, fighting so hard to get a job, I have the opportunity to get one, and I am all depressed about it. Although, I'm starting to wonder if there's even a chance that I would get that third interview. <sighs> I might have gave too much of an impression that I did not want to be there. But we'll see in the next two and a half hours. Wow, that sun must be uh, in directly in the lens right now. Backlighting must be absolutely harsh. Uh, I cannot end the day on this. Let's think of something happy to talk about. Well, my girlfriend and I are in our seventh month together. So, or no, we've been together for seven months now. That's a new record for me. Seven months. Six will be prior to this. Six months had been the uh, longest I've ever been in a relationship.
think we can do better than that. Come on, something happier. Oh, come on. I was saying I had to think of something happy. And here I uh, am talking about this. Alright. Come on. Come on. Think of something happy. Well, it snowed this Wednesday, so I guess I can be happy about that. You know, it was a lot of snow. Like eight, nine inches, I think. It was almost a foot. Uh, yeah. I remember on uh, Thursday morning when I opened my uh, back door, it's like my door just barely cleared the uh, snow. So, that was. Unfortunately, the snow's pretty much all melted away now. That did not take long at all. Wednesday it started snowing. Thursday I got to enjoy it um, as much as I could. Friday it had already been half gone. It was already half gone. Yesterday, I mean. Friday. And today virtually gone. Again with the sad uh, unhappy stuff. I really gotta work on that. Thinking happy thoughts. I mean I can put myself into a happy state I suppose but to uh, uh, share something happy that's a little more difficult. Um, I'll work on that. Anyway, going to see my girlfriend. That should be something I should be happy about. And indeed, I am. Just wish I could have some alone time with her, but whatever. Okay, I guess I have nothing happy to uh, report then. It's all depressing news. Oh, great. Well, I guess that's it uh, for today then. See you guys tomorrow.